Hey guys, Average Corona here. Well, Christmas is just around the corner, and as such, I thought I'd do something very Christmassy. So um, today I'm going to talk to you guys about Dementium 2 HD. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Man, Ava, awesome choice for a Christmas game, to which I say thank you. I know, I'm just, I'm right about all things all the time forever. Now, Dementium 2 is a first-person survival horror game. Now, bear in mind I use the word horror very, 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 very loosely. It was originally released on the Nintendo DS, developed by Renegade Kid and published by South Peak Interactive, and was released in 2009. Now, the HD version was only released a few days ago on the 18th, but what do I really think about it? Now going forward into this review, I want you guys to try and keep in mind that this game is a DS game and they didn't really do much to change the game itself, other than up the resolution. Now the story goes that you, William Redmore, have just recovered from experimental brain surgery that had you fighting your nightmares in Dementium, the Ward. As you return to your cell in the sanitarium, things start to get a little weird as your nightmares start bleeding out into reality and you continue your fight for survival. Now the gameplay in Dementium is a little bit sluggish. Enemies are pretty slow and very easy to handle. You move, you know, pretty slow. Snail's pace, even. And this is all due to the move over from the DS where adrenaline pumping and first person shooters can't really exist in the same dimension. Now the survival features are pretty standard here. Ration your ammunition, save up healing items for a dire situation, and silly be drip fed new guns. Being given new guns is eh, it's not really that important because they start you off with the best weapon, the shank. It's fast, can hit multiple times, and can hit stun enemies. That being said, guns do do more damage and a range. But I mean... Shank? Shank? Dementium 2's visuals are pretty janky, to say the least. The enemies are... Uh, the enemies are... Uh, sure are... Uh, something. But there are some interesting bosses, though. The game's environments aren't too varied either. You have the asylum, a snowy outside village, the world's squarest mines, and the dark world, which you are randomly warped to and forced to kill some monsters before you can return to walking slowly through corridors. So, is Dementium 2 HD the Christmas gift for your stocking? Eh, probably not. If you played Dementium the Ward and always wanted to play Dementium 2, like myself, then yeah, go for it. Otherwise, I'd say it's probably not worth your time. It's pretty average and pretty short, clocking in at about meh, two or three hours. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed decking the halls. With blood. And we here at Aussie Game Guys wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This is Ever Dracona, signing off. I'll see you next time. Bye, fire be purged, demon!